All right, so this is going to be our last uh, last problem. This is a little bit uh, involved, interesting, a little bit advanced, but um, but uh, but we're going to do it. So let's say a ball is thrown up with initial velocity 64 meter per second from not meter per second let's do something else foot per second feet per second from 80 feet tall building from 80 feet tall 80 from 80 feet high okay 80 feet high find number one find position function function um, when the height is the height is a function of like you know time which is obvious right number two uh, the time time ball hit the ground okay so let's do step by step process let's first understand what's going on here a ball is thrown up okay so let's say let's draw okay so a ball so, someone is uh, well someone is it doesn't that picture doesn't have to be that ugly um, thrown up a ball and is eventually fall down uh, well it doesn't have to be a someone just a ball okay this is our y this is our x and from this is 80 feet from 80 feet someone throw a ball and is eventually hit the ground right so the velocity initial velocity when someone throw it was 80 feet feet and the height Okay, we call it S, uh, S for height is 80, oh, well, 64, uh, 60, velocity is 64 meter per second and 80 feet, feet per second. Always get confused with feet and meters, but, uh, but, um, uh, but you know, as long as we fix uh, fix our error, we should not be too much worry about that. Okay, so let's see. A lot of things needed to be addressed, uh, and that is, in order to get the position function, we need to go back, as I said, from acceleration, from velocity to uh, position. I guess. All right from acceleration here acceleration also comes play because the gravity so the gravity is z z is 9.8 meter per second squared i don't know what is it in feet but we'll find out so z is uh, how can you convert meter per second uh, uh, meter per second squared to feet let's see nine point eight meter per second is here okay meter per second is here you one feet so let's put feet on the top and then meter on the bottom so one meter is three point two eight feet so then meter meter cancel so nine point eight times three point two eight which is 32 feet per second squared. All right. So the acceleration due to gravity is 30 point negative 32 feet per second squared. So how are we going to write that? We're going to write that like this. S, this is position. S is position. S prime t is velocity right s prime t is velocity because when you take the derivative of 
position, that, that is velocity. So S prime of t is S prime of t is velocity, all right? So S prime of t is 64 feet per second. 64 or well, or S prime of zero is 64 feet per second. Why is zero? Because initial velocity is 64 feet per second. All right. So what is the initial acceleration? Acceleration is double prime s. All right. Double prime s acceleration. Negative 32 feet per second is good. That means the when something you 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 throw something also something pulling it down and the ball was pulling down by the gravity of the earth is 32 feet per second square okay that is our acceleration where that is come from that is come from 9.8 meter per second square and we converted it to feet and that's how we got that okay so now we're going to do a little bit of calculus to solve this problem Okay, but I guess we can do that. Um, well, okay, so let's see. Let's see. Um, uh, maybe the velocity. Velocity is, um, you know, you know, uh, the the integral of uh, acceleration, which is t, um, you know dt so this one is simply negative 32 um, dt um, well this one is zero because this is zero here at zero that was the velocity so let's take it from zero to t uh, well not zero to t we don't know that so s prime is, take the integral of this one, negative 32 t, okay, there is a 1, you divide by 1, doesn't matter, nothing changes, plus c1, okay, why c1, because there is no limit, that's why we have it, there is no limit, there is not lower bound, there is no upper bound, that's why we have it c1, okay. But we'll be able to find C1. How are we going to find it C1? Because this is S of O. Okay, so S prime of O is, okay, that's my fault, I guess. Okay, S of O is 64. So we're going to, oh, no, 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 no. This is, this is, yeah, 64. So 64 feet per second equal to, this is O, Y, O, uh, initial, in, uh, this is the initial time. So this is just zero plus C1. So C1 is 64 feet per second, all right? So now we're gonna continue to until we solve this problem. This problem is odd solving because it, um, you know, combines the essence of physics and essence of calculus and everything in between. Okay, so now this is S of O is actually S prime of O D T. So, okay, so what is S of O is then? S prime of O, S prime of O is C is now 64 feet per second. You see, C is C1 is now 64 feet per second, and that's how we got it, right? We already show it to you. So C1 is, this guy is then <laughs> negative 32 T plus 64 feet per second, okay? Right. So we're not going to worry too much about the unit now. We're going to worry about the unit later. So now let's see, dt, yeah, right? So now S of O equal to, what is the integral of this one? Negative 32t squared over 2 plus 64t. There is a 1. You can put 1 here. But, you know, it's up to you. 
So S of O is actually 2 goes to 32, 16, so minus 16 T e squared plus 64 plus C2. Okay, so what is C2? Let's find out. What is S of O? The S of O is actually, um, you know, S of O is actually 80 feet, okay? So 80 is, this is 0 plus 0, this is T, right? This is T, so 0 plus C2. So C2 is actually 80, right? So now we're going to write the position function. Position function is S of T is actually negative 16 T squared plus 64 T plus, and instead of C2, you're going to write 80, all right? So this is our position function, okay? So that's, we answered the first question, find the position function, okay? Now we'll, this is our first question, okay? Position function, we answered the position, uh, we found the position, uh, position function. Now we're gonna, we're gonna find time the ball hit the ground. What time the ball, the ball thrown, th thrown from here and hit the ground. So what time the, the ball hit the ground? T is what? At this point, what is the T? Let's find that. Step maybe three, yes. Uh, that's this, uh, this question is uh, coming long and long, but we, there is no reason to give up. Minus 16 T squared plus 64, 64 T plus 80, okay? So let's see. Uh, let's um, get this. You know, since uh, 16 is, uh, I guess 16 is GCF. So multiply everything. Uh, well, divide everything by 16. So you're gonna get t squared negative 16 minus how many times 16 goes to 64? Sixty-four divided by sixteen, which is four. Four t plus five. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So now we're gonna let it to zero. T squared plus four t plus five equal to zero. And 16, we send it to the uh, uh, other side. So negative 16 times 0, which is 0. So we're going to do, now things is easy. We're going to do like what? Um, factoring. All right, so product is, there is a 1 here. So product is 5 times 1 is 5. So we have to find a number whose product is 5 and sum is 4. Is it easy? Absolutely. Um, maybe you can write, uh, well, let's see. Uh, um, yeah. Okay, so. Um, oh, here uh, I made mistake. This one has to be negative. This one has to be negative. You have to be very careful about this. Otherwise, uh, this is very, very important. Very important. So, yeah, we will be able to do it now. So, plus, uh, this is plus, uh, plus x minus 5x minus 5, 0. How did, how did I get this um, plus x and minus x? So the product of this two guy is 5 and the sum of this two guy is 4t. This is t, sorry. Okay, so 5t minus 5t plus t is minus 4t. So now 
what is the GCA between two? Just t, t plus one, and minus five, t plus one, and then you have t plus one, and then t minus five, so t plus one is zero, so t is negative one, and t minus five is zero, so t is five. Now, t is negative one, the time is negative, but, uh, and t is five, time is five seconds. So now think about it, negative time. Uh, does negative time make sense? No, it doesn't. So we're gonna cross out. So we're gonna only take t, and t is just five seconds. And we're gonna say, when the ball hit the ground, it was just five seconds. 